What's up? The Devil's Inside is another one of those found footage horror films such as The Blair Witch Project, Paranormal Activity, and Grave Encounters. But The Devil's Inside tends to favor more towards The Last Exorcism, a film that I absolutely really enjoyed, but unfortunately had such an awful ending that almost ruined the whole movie. So, when I heard of this film, I got the impression of The Last Exorcism, but I was like, okay, Maybe to watch it and they'll fix what the errors and get what get what the last exorcism got wrong. Maybe the devil's inside could get right. Nineteen eighty nine, Maria Rossi killed three people while performing an exorcism. Twenty years later, her daughter Isabel is determined to figure out why and learn more about exorcism. So she friends two exorcists, and they document her trying to figure out more about exorcists and going to actually see exorcisms performed. And they also, and while Isabel's up there, she also plays a visit to her mother. I was inside. Well, personally, I found it to be depressing. This movie was so depressing. Why? Because it could have been something so much more. This film absolutely could have been something. It was on the verge of being something truly terrifying and haunting and actually something absolutely scary. But unfortunately, it just falls flat. Flat on its heels. Complete flat. And it, Honestly, The Devil's Inside could have been some. It does a really good job, I think, in presenting a couple of good spine-chilling thrills. Like, the opening sequence, I thought, was really good. The 9 one call was extremely creepy and extremely spine-chilling, and it really pulls the audience in. There's a particular exorcism sequence that takes place in a basement that had the theater gasping for air. Like, literally, it was, it was intense. So I'm watching the movie, right? And I'm like, okay, it is about to get real. What? Seriously? The movie ends. It's not, it's not even an ending. I will admit. Now, I complained about the last exorcism ending because it was too much of an ending. It kind of took away from all the realism. They, it was like they were trying to add on that final huge scare to just scare everyone. And it just came off too much. And I will admit, after seeing The Devil's Inside, I have a little bit more respect for that ending. Because at least, I know it could have been worse. There could not have at least been an ending. As the score goes, I'm going to give The Devil's Inside a one and a half out of five. Definitely, definitely a bad movie. You're only paying for literally half a movie. And if you're like me, don't. Don't. Steer away. So until next time, I'm the Slashing Movie Reviewer, and you guys just been slashed.